guys, welcome back to Kit Mittens Crochet. Today we will be working on another piece of Lily's Cat, which is a free pattern from Amigurumi Today called Large Ami Cat on their page. I will link the description in the box below so you can go over there and get your free pattern and follow along with me if you want to. Today we will be making the muzzle. Okay, so now with the muzzle, the muzzle itself is going to be made of white and the nose will be made of yellow to go along with the lemon swirl that I have been using throughout for the body of the cat. So, and I'm using cotton yarn for everything here. That was just my preference to try with this cat. So, for the, and the black I have got for the detail, the smile, and the little divot between the mouth and the nose. So for the black, I am using Crafter's Secret Cotton. It is a four weight in the colorway black. Okay, so this is for the details. And for the muzzle itself, I will be using Crafter Secret Cotton in the four weight in the colorway white. I like it when it's simple like that. But then again, I like those names too, you know. Um, and then for the nose, I'm using Peaches and Cream Original Cotton. And this is a four weight in the colorway sunshine. Okay, so. We will start off, of course, with our white. And what you need for this part is, of course, your crochet hook. I am using my beautiful 2.75 furls named Meteora. By me, you're not going to find that on their page. I just named her Meteora. I have a pencil for marking on my notebook because I always write the patterns in a notebook. I don't like printing things out pair of scissors and we're of course going to need a yarn needle okay so if you guys are ready let's get started okay guys we're going to start the muzzle for round one we will be making a magic ring with seven single crochet and I am in no way wearing these things on my thumbs because I saw how hideous my thumbs looked in a previous video I'm definitely not doing that. Okay. So to make a magic ring, hold the yarn between your thumb and your forefinger, bring around, and when you get to the back, push through. And once you have a little bit of yarn up like this, you're going to hold on to that loop, okay? Hold that loop, take your yarn out, take the working yarn and hold naturally as you would when you crochet. And we have our little loop up here. Now we put our crochet hook through the loop, tighten and yarn over, pull through. Now we need to put seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, this little, the little pull left here, we're going to grab onto that and we're going to tighten this up. And, ta-da, we have made a magic ring. Now, I've not tightened it fully yet. Go ahead and pull on that a little bit more. Okay, so that is our magic ring with seven single crochet. <clears throat> For round two, we will be per performing an 
single crochet increase in each stitch going around the magic ring. So we'll start here and we should end with 14. So I'm going to count by two and I'm going to be putting two stitches in each single crochet. One, two, oh, I think I messed that up. One, two, three, and four, whoops, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and 10, 11, and 12, 13, and 14. Whoops. Okay, so, and let's count again just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay, give that magic ring another pull there. I really gotta fight the cotton a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm done being shamed by my ugly thumbs. We're just gonna have to deal with it. I know I don't have girl hands. I have working hands. But as I say, they are clean, but they are stained and they are, they're just working hands. There's nothing I can do about that. I guess I could if I really gave a crap, but it doesn't seem like I do. What I'm doing right now is finding a different colored yarn to be my stitch marker because Carmen didn't think of that a minute ago and she really should have. So let's see. Yeah, this will work if we can get a little piece of yellow here. That'll work just fine. I always just use a contrasting color of yarn for a stitch marker. I do have the really cute ones, you know, some of them, but I rarely use them just because this is so easy. Okay, so I'm marking my last stitch. In round three, we will be performing one single crochet followed by a single crochet increase. And how I do this is I count one, and then for the increase, I count two and three. And this is how I will count all the way around. One, and for the increase, two, and three. One, two, and three, one, two, whoops. Two and three, one, two and three, one, two and three, one. Two and 
three. And at the end of round three, you should have 21. Now for round four, we will be performing 21 single crochets all the way around. One, two, oh my goodness, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty one. Okay, so we finished round four. <clears throat> now, for rounds four, 5 through 15, we will be doing the exact same thing. Single crocheting 21 all the way around. So what I'm going to do is I will film this, but I will speed it up so you'll get to see me working like I'm the Flash because that's super cool. And I just thought this would be funner than doing it off camera like I've been doing. So let's get working on rounds 5 through 15.
Okay, guys. <clears throat> All right, so we've finished up round 15. So move our stitch marker. And now round 16, we will be performing one single crochet followed by a single crochet decrease. One. And then an invisible decrease which is you go into the front loop and then go into the front loop of the next yarn over pull through and you have your invisible decrease one single crochet followed by an invisible decrease one decrease got to release my tension sometimes I just crochet so tightly decrease one single crochet and a decrease. One single crochet and a decrease.
one single crochet and a decrease. Okay, and for round, oh, and you should have 14 around. For round 17, we're going to decrease seven times. So in the two front loops and pull through, decrease, that's one. Two, three, oops. Four, five. Six and seven. Okay. Now the pattern says to continue to decrease until I guess you have no area there, but I don't really think it's going to make such a difference if I perform when I, you can weave in through and just pull it tight. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give myself some extra yarn here, probably too much. So we are going to, let me pull this through, get rid of that, oh, got this little guy here still, get out of there. Now we will need our needle, and I think I grabbed it, but I also grabbed a pin, okay. So. Here is my yarn needle. Bear with me. Aha! First try. Okay, so with this hole, what we want to do here is only go into the front loop of each of the single crochet. Only the front loop, okay? Pull, and now we're going to come around to the next, only the front loop, and pull through, and the next, only the front loop, pull through, and we're going to keep going this way, only the front loop. Pull through, front loop, okay, now what I'm going to do is just pull and that'll cinch that right up, okay, mm -hmm. and now I'm just going to feed this through. And I just kind of feed it back and forth, kind of 
haphazardly here, but that way it's harder to come out, you know, get a little crazy with it. Chaos. Okay. So after you've went back and forth a few times, go ahead and chop that off. Okay. Now, with this, what the pattern says here is to kind of, I think we're just going to kind of flatten just like this. Okay. And there is our muzzle. So, of course, we didn't stuff or anything. We didn't need to. This gives us some dimension. So, now what we want to do is put our features on. Okay? Okay, guys. So, I paused it to find the center pull because you guys don't want to hear that language. And uh, the, the doggone peaches and cream, I just, I'm... It, there's doesn't exist or something. I mean, whatever. So I had to take the doggone tag off of it and everything. So what I'm going to do with this is I am going to cut me a very, very long piece of yarn. Very yarn. Very long. There we go. Alrighty. I'd rather have too much than too little. And I'm still kind of concerned I didn't get enough, but we'll just see how this goes. Bear with me again, guys. Me and these needles, I tell you. Oh, we're going to have trouble. This peaches and cream, I am not enjoying. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start my nose. Well, the bottom of my nose, I don't want to put it right in the center because I don't want the mouth to look all smushed down here at the bottom. So I think I'm going to start my nose not in the center, but kind of, eh, I don't know. Maybe I am going to start in the center. Eh, why not, right? Okay. So this is going to be my my aim here. So I'm going to go through here and let's come up here. We're going to find where we're going to start. We're just, we're, we're, we're just playing right now, guys. We're finding out what we want to do here. Okay. And I'm going to leave some here so I can feed that in in a minute. So, and we just kind of got to imagine what this is going to look like, you know. So I think I'm going to go right here. And then I'm going to come down and come out where I began. Let's see how this looks. Oh, I hope I got enough yarn here. All right. I kind of like, I like this. I like this. Okay. All right. So, so what I'll be doing is back and forth from the bottom to top to color in a triangle nose. So let's make our edges here, of course. Get those and come up here. I'm going to go ahead and bring my, okay, well, we can bring it up here. If I can get it, good grief. Okay. Come down here. And just going to kind of pop up around here somewhere. Okay. Now, why isn't this as tight as I would like it to be? Okay, hang on here. I want this tighter. Is this the problem? Yep. But now this isn't tight. Oh, no. All right. Where is the problem originating from so I can fix this thing? Come on now. Quit acting cruisy. Okay, so that 
this one. I'm going to figure it out, guys. Don't you worry. I like to think I will anyway. What have I done? That goes there. What's this Titan? Have you ever? Okay, so this time. Oh, well, that. Carmen. Okay. So we need to tighten this back. Okay, so that's tightened. So this is the one that will pull that down. Is this right? Oh, I have just made a disastrous mess is all I've done, guys. Okay, so that pulls that. What is this? Okay, this one pulls that. Okay. Okay. Now, this one should pull. Yes. Okay, and then I can pull that. Yay! Oh, that was a doggone puzzle. All right. We figured it out, though. Okay. And at this point, we just keep... We're just going to keep going until we color this up with yellow. Goodness gracious. You know, there... You know... I, through this project, I have kind of kicked myself a few times for choosing cotton, but I just thought it would last longer, you know, and which it will, I believe. I mean, I think it will. It's just sometimes it's not the easiest to work with, you know, but the end product will hopefully last longer, so it'll be worth it. At least I'm telling myself that. It'll be worth it, Carmen. It'll be worth it. Moving a little bit faster now. Yeah. say that now I get stuck see it just sometimes it is so tough oh my gosh goodness gracious Ugh. I have to ice my dog on wrist after this it's rough But, it is a labor of love for Miss Lily Gale, and we love Miss Lily Gale, so it's worth it. Oh gosh, what have I done now? Good gravy, look at the mess I have made. Oh, what the crud have I done, guys? Oh, okay, we're good. I'm a danger to myself. Okay. Back in. Go up here this time. Oh, come on. Work with me. You sort of worked with me, so... I'll take it. <clears throat> My goodness gracious. I'm about to get it, thank goodness. Because, ouch. Because... good I like how it's 
giving it quite a bit of dimension for the nose too. I think it's just gonna, it's gonna pay off. It's gonna, gosh, it's gonna pay off. I promise it will. It will, it'll pay off. Now, come on. There we go. Thank you. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Mm. Okay, I think this may be the last one going down. So, I'm going to come back over here to the, the top of the nose at the side and come up. Okay. God bless America. Pull that through. Now, what I'm going to do is go across a couple times just to get that edge nice and clean so we're just going to do some back and forths here to get that nice and clean eh, turn it loose man Do one more for good measure. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking my nose. So I'm going to feed in my ends here. Yeah. I'll go through here. And then I'm going to come back again. And I'm also going into the white of the muzzle, guys, to feed in the end. Daggum. Oh, goodness. See, it's wild over here. Okay. So we've got our cute little nose. I'm going to go ahead and clip. I don't like these big scissors. Let me get my cute little ones here. They work better. Okay. Come in here and clip that off. Okay. Now we need to feed in. Yeah, I used a lot of yellow here. God bless it, peach and the cream stuff. I am not happy with it. Gosh. Oh gosh, and here we go trying to get this. Uh. Hey, cool. All right, so I'm gonna go up this side because I'm not really happy with that. So I'm gonna come up here with it. And then kind of, daggum, if I can't, ugh, I'll kill myself trying to do this. Come up here and just kind of feed through like this. Come on, come on, oh, come on, for the love of God, Marty. you can do it. There we go, and if I can, I'd like to feed in one more time here. Maybe come through here. If I can, I'm just gonna tear everything up, eh? Carmen. Okay, if we can get it pulled through here, I'm gonna cut it off. All right. Oh my gosh, that was that was something. Okay. Woo. All right. So we got our cute little nose. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. So now let's do the smile and the little divot. So I'm going to probably get way more yarn than I need, but that's okay. And I kind of had trouble finding the yarn pull in the Crafter Secret, but not near it. Well, obviously I didn't find it in the doggone peaches and cream. You know, that, that's like a, that's a big deal of yarn. Finding the, the center pull. Like, come on, guys. You knew better than that. You know what? 
that should be like a, a, what a company should like totally have that as their their niche you know it's like always a center pool if you can't find the center pool we'll refund your money give you free yarn for a year or something like yeah so the little divot in the pattern it looked like it came down two or three places and then the mouth came up in a smile on both sides about four single crochets each I'm gonna put a couple of single crochet I mean single crochet I'm gonna go down a couple here and see what see how we're feeling about it okay I don't want to get all crazy and maybe put go down too far I'm going to leave some, of course, to feed back in in a moment. So I'm going to come down one, come back out this one. Oops. Okay. Let's go back up with this. Yeah, I think two would probably get me where I want to be. Well, let's see. We might could do three. We might. Let me come down just to. I don't know. That's going to. I'm going to go ahead and start with the smile, I think, because I, I don't want to get all nuts here and have it look strange with this big long divot that's like, why is that there? You know? Oh, is this my. Oh, goodness. Oh goodness, I've made a, I made a mess. I mean, who would have thought, right? What have I done? Okay, we are all tangled up with something here, so. Oh, okay, that's what it was. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my smile here. I'm gonna come right here. I'm just going to take it up a little. I'm, I don't think I'm going to make my smile as wide as theirs. I'm going to be more kind of a shy smile. I think that'll work for, for our cat. I'd rather have like a cute little shy smile. And I am making a disaster is what I'm doing. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. And one more. I'm going to come on over here and I'm going to do the same over here. Tighten this just a little bit. Before we go any further, I just want to make sure I'm getting these as tight as I want them, you know. I don't want to have a loosey-goosey laying around. Oh, I did that and I shouldn't have. Good gravy. Come on up here. Okay. There we go. Got that. Okay. Not exactly, but it's very hard to get it. I think I can fix that when I bring that one down. Oh, why is that so thick looking? I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, hang on, guys. We are going to have to get this one out because that just does not look good to me. And we're not doing something that doesn't look good, are we? Okay, just get this right out of there. Okay, I think it looks good with just these little two guys here. So let's go ahead. Well, I can go ahead and feed this and we'll just take it through. Let's start on the other side here. Okay, so I'm going to take it through where I came in at. I'm 
Okay, and I'm going to come over here. Just start on the other side. Come in right here. I am a perfectionist, so uh, yeah. I think this will work. Yeah. I think it will. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cheat and look. <gasps> look what she did. You know what, though? Who's going to see that? Think about it. Who? Because I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to glue the crud out of this to the front of the bunny so no one will ever see back here. Okay, and I don't want to have to feed this into the front and it make this all like thick and stupid looking. So, no, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm cheating. This isn't even cheating, guys. Come on, you guys know this. We're just feeding it around all random-like. Because this is, this is fine. Because I'm gluing the turkey out of this thing. If that makes any sense. Okay. So I'm going to cut this off in the back. Remove my needle. And now we've got this piece here left, so we were we are going to Oh, please don't give me trouble. Good job. All right. So I'm going to feed it right through here and we're going to see how this looks. Okay. We look good. We look good. Okay. I'm loving it. I'm happy. All right, so again, we are just going to feed through back here a bunch of times, all haphazard-like, because we rarely get to be haphazard with crochet, right? Come on, this is like some stress relief. After making that face, we need the stress relief, so just all, just go crazy with it. <laughs> okay, and cut that off. All right, and look at this. Look at this cute muzzle. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And of course, mine is much smaller here. The smile, which is what I wanted. My nose, I'm happy with it. It's a little bumpy looking. That's all right. It's all good. And so I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. So I hope you guys are happy too with yours. All right. Moving right along with Lily's kitty cat. Um, so next time, I believe... Let's try to make a tail. I don't know where that came from. All right. See you guys soon to make the tail. Bye, guys.